everyone, welcome to Todo Fine. We are very excited to be sharing another episode with you. To start, we are going to talk about acronyms. Then, we have a funny sketch about typical phrases used by students and teachers in the classroom. In our cultural segment, we are going to talk about strange ways to identify the artist of painting. And finally, in our entertainment segment, we are going to talk about four curiosities about South Korea. Okay, let's start! Hello everyone, I'm Fernando and I will tell you about acronyms, which are one of the most common forms that are usually used in conversation or text messages. With acronyms you can abbreviate phrases or expressions that you want to convey. Here are some examples. ASAP As soon as possible Pronounced as ASAP or saying its separate letter ASAP is one of the most common. Learn it and make your life easier. LOL Laughing out loud. It is used to express joy, but sometimes it is used with a sarcastic air. BTW By the way, its most frequent use can be seen in emails. If you want to talk about an event and don't know how to interrupt the conversation, this is a perfect acronym. Well, these have been a few examples of the many acronyms. I hope you have understood and that you can use them correctly. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringo Feliz Center. Where learning English is not an option. <laughs> okay, everybody. Okay, everybody. Okay, everybody. Open the books to page sixteen. Why are you laughing? Come on, tell us the joke. No, teacher, it is not. Why are you laughing? It doesn't matter, teacher. Yeah. Quack. It's nothing. Teacher, time is over. You still have two minutes. But teacher, my school bus will leave me. Don't say that's wrong. Don't say that's both. Okay. Do pages 30 and 31 in your workbook. Give me a 100 word essay. No, it's not yes. well. I want a mock up. What? Yeah, oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Bring me a dinosaur. Really, teacher? Now you can go. <laughs> okay, now this work has to be done in groups of three. Uh, can we decide the groups? Can you work in group of four, please? Oh. Okay, okay. But everybody has to do the work and then work together. Everyone do your prep and at the end we will put it together. Okay, that's great. Good idea. Okay, do you have any questions? No. Are you sure? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, we're going to start with a new topic. <clears throat> teacher, I have that. We didn't review it. Now? But in the class, I said, 
do you have any questions? And you all said, no, teacher, no. And now you have doubts. Well, I am not going to explain it. What's more, I have Alzheimer's. I don't even know my name. What is my name? I don't know anything. What are you doing, guys? Hello, everybody. Good morning. Are you ready for the test? Wait. What's that a test today? Okay, time's up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I think I'm thank, thank you. There were more questions? Cultural Report Hello everyone, I'm Anay and today I'm going to talk about how to identify an artist in a different way. With these tips, you will surely become an art expert and can show up with your friends. Okay, let's start. If the paintings have a dark background and everyone has expressions of torture on their faces, it is the end. On the other hand, when you see Many small people appear in the paintings, but there are also a lot of nonsense things. It is likely Bosque. If there is a lay dancer, it is Degas. He's one of those painters with a unique style, a specialist in capturing body movements. When you're looking at the painting, and it seems like something you saw when you drank a lot last night, it is Dali. If everyone has some kind of malformation in the body, it is Picasso. And finally, if there is an extra sheet with color squares, it is Shirley Mondrian, a lover of geometric abstraction. Okay, that's it. I hope these tips will be useful in the future. Good luck. Hi everyone, it's Yahaira, and now I'm going to talk about four curiosities of South Korea. First, I'm going to introduce some information about this country. South Korea is located in East Asia. The country's capital is Seoul, and the official currency is the South Korean won. One, Kim, Lee, and Park are the most common Korean surnames and it goes before the first name. For example, Kim So-hyun, Lee Jong-suk, and Park Shin-hye. Two, when a Korean name is written in red ink, this indicates that that person is about to die or is already dead. Three, South Koreans believe that a person is one year old at birth since they spent almost one year in their mother's womb. Last but not least, in this country and other parts of Asia, the number 4 is considered to be an unlucky number, and it is associated with death. In hotels and other buildings, there is no fourth floor. Well, interesting, isn't it? So, who wants to go and visit South Korea? That's all for today. If you like this, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know how it was at the comment section below. Follow us on our digital platforms such as Facebook and Instagram as Fine Tune English. 
Until next time, be total fine. Bye. Bye.